a 3D printed compost shredder? Do you think that's a project you might like to try? Hang around and I'll show you how to put it together. Here we have the assembled compost shredder. You can see it's made up of quite a number of parts. The first parts I printed were the actual gears themselves. These are the ones in here. They're the ones that actually do the shredding. Each of those gears, there are four on each side, eight. They take about eight hours to print each. Over here we have two bearing holders. There are four large bearings in there. And there's a shaft that goes in between those bearings. And then there are some spaces that go in between as well. We have these little finger sides and they actually took the longest to print. If you think this is a quick project you can knock up in a weekend, think again. Each of these took nearly a day to print by the time you get them strong enough to be able to use. It's got gears on the side as well and on the other side to help strengthen it. And I've decided to use stainless steel fasteners on all of the different bits and pieces. Here's Tuppence to come and say hello. She always likes to check out what we're doing. So the idea is the top part of the compost shredder is where you put your material. You crank the handle, crank it so the two wheels go in together. And then those gears mesh and shred any of the material that you want to shred in there. I've given it a little bit of a run and I know it works. I've also seen the links on the, tele the uh, YouTube channel for the fellow who makes the actual compost shredder. I'll put them in the description if you'd like to have a look. And I know that it works quite well. Now this is going to be part one of the video because what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually assemble this on a stand. I've got some legs over here that I've put on, four of them, each of the corners. And what I plan to do is put that and mount that onto a nice sturdy base, put a bucket underneath to catch any of the compost and then after that put a hopper on top so that any material stays in the one spot. Now rather than you watch me do all of those things I'll come back and do part B of the video and we'll actually watch it in action. Then I'll give you some of my thoughts on whether I think it's worth the actual effort of putting it in. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we're back again. I've assembled the compost shredder. What I've done is I've put it onto a base. This is an old stool. Taken away the top, just put a couple of slats in. That way, all of the compost can go straight down. We've got a bucket down the bottom. This will collect all the compost when it's shredded. And up the top, I need to keep all the material in, so I decided to bake a hopper. Now, there are designs on the website on how to make a hopper or print one out, but my printer isn't big enough to make them. So what I decided to do was use a very expensive method. I had to go and pay for some ice cream and use a four liter ice cream container. It just wedged in the top here where the stands are. Holds in nice and strong. And I'm hoping that does the job quite well. So let's give it a little test. The idea is you're gonna rotate. I'm gonna put compost in the top. And it's going to then shred it up. So let's give it a try. Let's try some of the celery. This is the bottom part of the celery. And that chews through beautifully. Let's try an old apple. This is an old rotten apple. Let's see how it goes with that. You can see I don't have to hold it or anything else. I just have to crank the handle. All that material shreds up quite nicely. Next, a couple of old carrots and a little zucchini that didn't quite make the grade. Now we're going to give that a grate. Oh, a little bit harder. You've got to hang with me, pull that back and have a look at the bucket. You can have a look and see that most of that is shredded up quite nicely. So I would say, yes, it does work very well. And I'll come back and give you some of my thoughts in a moment. So what do I think of the compost shredder? I give it 10 out of 10 for actual shredding up the compost better than I thought it would. Some of those hard things, you've really got to crank hard and that's why you've got to have a metal handle. If you make it out of you know, printed uh, PLA, it may not be strong enough. But if you look at the actual shredding, 
those shredded pieces are quite fine and they will compost really nicely. So is it worth it as a project? Well, if it comes down to money, maybe not. I'm explaining to other people as well, it actually costs quite a bit to put together. Not so much for the PLA, that's probably oh, about $30 worth of plastic there at the very most, but it does cost a lot for the fittings. I decided to use stainless steel bolts all the way through and they cost a lot of money. Around about $70 by the time I bought all the bits and pieces, including this little bit of stainless steel threaded bar. It's got four big bearings in there, and again, they'll all be in the description if you're interested. Each of those costs $15 from a local bearing company. Now, you probably can get that down a little bit if you shop around online, but it's still looking at about $150 for all the materials. Printing time, you're looking at it well over a week. Each of these red sections over here, which are the sides, took a day to print. Some of the others took close to half a day. Even the smaller things like the gears still took five, five or six hours to print. So it's not a thing you do quickly. We sort of set and forget. As I said, I'm lucky I've got a son who's an engineer who can help me with a 3D printer. I wouldn't buy a 3D printer just to put a project like this together. This is something to do. It's a bit of fun. I enjoyed making it. Very, very pleasurable to put all the components together and actually have them working. But without a 3D printer, I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. The beauty of it is I can use this anytime. I don't have to bring power down here to the garden. I can just bring out the shredder. Say I'm cutting up my tomatoes and I want to shred up the uh, stems or I want to take some old fruit, which is not any good. Chuck it into the hopper, give it a bit of a grind. Off it goes, ready for my compost. So I would call it a win for the feral garden. And as I said, if you want to find out more information, I'll put all the links to all of the files, the Thingiverse files, and to the YouTube videos showing how it was tested, showing you some other examples. And the fellow who actually makes these, his name's on here, I think it's Filler Maker. You'll find that he actually makes a metal shredder and that will shred just about anything. I couldn't find any in Australia, so that's another reason 3D printing's handy. If you can't find it in Australia, at least you can print your own version of it. So it was a fun project, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join me again on the Feral Garden when we look at other projects I'm undertaking. See you then.